Project number nine, industrial sequential control of tree conveyors with a PLC. Hello everybody. In this video, we will analyze a circuit diagram connecting five input push buttons, three output contactor coils, and two lamp indicators to a typical PLC. Control program logic. We can independently activate M1 or M2 with their related start and stop push buttons. Signal lamps show the status of M1, M2 or M3. Activating M1 or M2 also activates M3 and lamp 3. After pressing any related stop push button, M1 or M2 stops after 5 seconds and M3 after 7 seconds. If no object is detected within 10 seconds by the sensor I4, M1 or M2 deactivates. M1 and M2 cannot be on simultaneously. Let's evaluate the prepared PLC control program together. As you see in this diagram, we have uh, three conveyors that are controlled by M1, M2, and M3. And these conveyors are used to transfer boxes from one place to another one. And the whole program is written with seven networks and uh, four timers, T0, T1, T2, and T3. The program also has five digital inputs. Four of them are uh, start and stop motors. And the last one is sensor input, I4. On the other hand, the outputs are used to control the motors, M1, M2, and M3. And lamp 1 and lamp 2. Signal lamps show the status of M1, M2, or M3. Activating M1 or M2 also activates M3 and LAMP3 as well. I have already uploaded the program into the software and let me go ahead and turn it on. Notice that activating M1 or M2 also activates M3 and LAMP3. If no object is detected within 10 seconds by sensor I4, M1 or M2 deactivates at the end of 10 second period and M3 is deactivated after the next period of 7 seconds. I go ahead and start M2 and notice that the same circumstance is repeated. Notice that to maintain the system's operation, the sensor needs to detect movement of at least one box within every 10 second interval. If no movement is detected within this time frame, M1 or M2 and finally M3 are deactivated. Notice that tapping I4 input resets the sensor timer, ensuring continuous measurement within the 10 second window. After pressing any related stop push button, M1 or M2 stops after 5 seconds and M3 after 7 seconds. The same logic applies to controlling the M2 conveyor motor as well. Now 
Now let me turn on the M1 motor and notice that by tapping on I1 push button, I cannot turn on the M2 motor as well. Additionally, according to the project specification, M1 and M2 cannot be on simultaneously. Right now, M1 is on. I cannot turn on M2 on by tapping on I4 sensor input. In general, the system can shut down in two ways, either by pressing any related stop push button or due to the absence of sensor detection within a 10 second time frame. After pressing the I2 stop push button, M1 stops after 5 seconds and M3 stops after 7 seconds. Upon activating M1 and tapping the I4 sensor, T3 resets the sensor timer ensuring continuous measurement within the 10 second window. Otherwise, if no tapping occurs, M1 turns off immediately and T2 is activated to trigger the shutdown of M3 after 7 seconds. Let's proceed by tapping on the M2 start input push button and then tapping I4 sensor just once. Observe that the same shutdown process for M3 and M2 occurs after no input is detected from the I4 sensor. The project is successfully tested on a virtual S7300 PLC using Semantic Manager software. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.